Oh. Not that top one. You always have to twaddle with. I do. But I'm trying to get us both in and it's very, very difficult. I know. Might as well have a for 20 minutes. We had. Might not get many on in daytime. I'm not getting on. Good afternoon. I'm vaping at you so you're all going smoky. We've got some people joining us. Evening, afternoon, I'm saying evening. Afternoon, Karen. Hello, evening, hello. Can afternoon. you just see John? He's like cramped down. I like that chat, <laughs> oh dear. Afternoon, Sandy. How are you, my lovely? Hope you're all well. Hope you're having a great Sunday afternoon, relaxing in the warmth. Christopher, hello. Patrice, hi there. John's hiding. <laughs> oh dear. How are we all this, this afternoon? Okay, Michael, Christ. hello, how are you? I'm determined to keep saying evening. I know, if I say evening, I do apologise. It's just that I'm that used to saying good evening. I mean, well, <laughs> I mean, well, I'm not used to being out in light. Oh dear, bright light blinds. <laughs> Exploring the afterlife ETA. Who are those louts? Uh, hi, John and Lindsay. Just sharing. That's going to be Chris. Is that Chris? Bloody caps. Who's. It's Chris, it's <laughs> Is it cap. Chris? Yeah. Might not be. Afternoon, Scotty. He's like a dwarf. <laughs> Janet, hello. Poison dwarf. No worries, Scotty, my lovely. Oh dear, so where are we today? Well, she, she, went, she went live before. I was just working out. I could have sat on that ledge there. Kelly, up to it. Chris. Hi, guys. Not I used to see you at this Chris. time. I know. Lindsay's not used to being awake at this I'm time. I'm not. <laughs> I'm normally asleep on a Sunday afternoon in my chair. Hi, Candy. Welcome to the ETA family, my lovely. That's a new one. I've missed one. Kim, on, hello, my lovely. All right, I'm getting Hi, Lisa knees. and James. I've Willow, paranormal. Good evening. <laughs> Afternoon, oh, even. Oh, dear. John lost his legs. He has. I'm on my knees now. Dory, my lovely. Claire, hope I hope you're, you're well. feeling better, sweetheart. Claire, glad to see you're out of hospital. Hope you're wrapped up well. Are you sure she's out of hospital? Uh, no, she's hospital? out of hospital. She put on yesterday. See, you need to keep up with chit chat. Uh, Kim, oh, hello. So, John's going to read you a little bit of history about where we are. We are at a castle. I will give you that. We are at a, uh, an old an, ruined an castle. An old ruined castle. Um, and it's such a lovely place. No, only a bit are of history. Are you ready? Hiya, Chris. Hope you're all right. This is Chris Anderson. Means Chris. Oh, but it says Chris Anderson. I though. know. That's better, can see you now. No, but I'm on my knees. <laughs> He's on his knees and it's cold. I'm on muddy knees now. <laughs> What's not new? So go, are, go. We, are we ready? Are we are ready, ready for the history? Only a little bit. It's just a little bit. You're buzzing. Am I buzzing? It's my phone. I'll turn it off in a minute. Right. William de Percy, a favourite of William the Conqueror, built a manor house here in the 11th century. Reputedly, it was here that the rebel barons drew up the Magna Carta in 1215. The castle was built by Henry de Percy in the early 14th century, with later alterations made in the 14th and 15th century. The Percy estates, including this one, were confiscated after the rebellion against King Henry IV in 1408 and given to Sir Thomas Rokeby. They were later restored and then lost again in 1461 when the Percys supported the losing side in the War of the Roses. This was eventually returned to the family and remained inhabited by the steward until 1604. The castle was reduced to ruins during the English Civil War of 1462 to four, uh, 1642 to 1646. Thank you, Dore. Um, um, and then it says... This is... This is, where, this is I'll, I'll read it off this sign. I'm not going to show it because it's got name and place on it, but I'll read a bit off of this because this is when different parts were built. The hall was first built... Early this one that's standing now, the one that was in the 11th century, was there's nothing left of now. 
This hall was first built in the early 13th century. The ground floor was set against a rock with the rocky outcrop and stairs were cut through the rock at each end. It's a leaf. At the end of the 13th century, the building was extended to the north with a suite of comfortable chambers, a stair turret, a parapet walk were added at this time. During the 15th century, the hall was widened, so the first floor extended over the top of the rough rock. We'll show you this in a minute. The stylish new hall was well lit with... Sound like an estate agent here, don't I? <laughs> the stylish new hall was well lit with large windows on both sides. A new fireplace was set in the north wall. The hall, with its fine views over Parkland to the west, would have been a grand space for entertaining. Reconstruction of the principal chambers in the early... 13th century, late 13th century, and 15th century. Oh, that's on the pictures yeah, showing yeah. how the building developed using Ilias. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're all cut into rock basically a lot of it, but I'm going to show you. Yes, it's me. Cap's got stuck. <laughs> how did I guess? You see, I knew that. I knew that. Oh, dear. I just had to check that that wasn't. Thought it would make you jump. It did, Michael. I did. Have to, I just checked and I just looked behind me and it's actually like just a trail of leaves coming down. It does look like a spider web. On there, does, yeah. I was going to say that's going to be one massive spider, um, but yes. Um, later on tonight, guys, I don't know how you feel um, because obviously we're doing a day investigation today, and it's just because it's that cold at night. And we was going to stop um, here till it goes dark, so we can do the vortex. Love, fly, hope you're well. but then we've got here, and the mirrors fell off the vortex. The mirrors fell off the vortex, and, and, my, nail, and, glue it. and my nail glue won't glue the metal back on. Good so. evening, Nanny Lynn. I hope you're well. I hope you're well, my lovely too. Um, but yes, so we are going to come, when we get back home later, we will go on later on tonight and do a, an hour or so in the shed, in the shed, um, in the just do a bit of vortex in, the um, in the parish in the shack. shack. <laughs> you knob. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, barred. I'm going to get bored. Security, um, security want bam to escort out the building, please? <laughs> oh, dear. So... Oh, that's good to hear, Lynn. I'm glad you're feeling a lot better, my lovely lady. Good to hear, Nanny Lynn. Um, yeah. Right, so I'm going to pass it up to John you now. Know, you're going to turn it a little bit that way so everyone don't see me going, ah, as I'm trying <laughs> to get up off my knees. <laughs> sound like having a poop. <laughs> see? There we go. You heard the slight noises. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to pass you up to John now and he can show you around. Right, uh, big I'm going to try and turn it around. I'm going to try and show you this, what it would have looked like. But we are showing the name of the place. So that was the first one. Then it was extended to that one. And eventually... To that one. To that one. And this is what's left of it now. That's where it was cut out into the rock. But it goes above that. Put your legs. We are really, Kelly. It goes above that. So here, you can't get up any of these stairs as far as I'm aware anymore. I apologise if, apologize if I lose signal going in here. But no, look, you can't get up. They're all blocks off. But there the stairs cut out into the rock. Lindsay, mind your language. I will not warn you again. So, yeah. Turn like I said, I can turn my light off now. Yeah, yeah thank you, Killer. Yeah, we'll have a walk round. So we presume this bit, where we're in now, would have been this bit down here. So the main hole's gone, we're in like the cellar bit. So this would have been a cellar or whatever kitchens where everything were kept. But yeah, I mean, you can see it's still up there. And uh, like I say, yeah, this is cut into the rock here. But there would have been another floor, you can see where the other floor would have sat. Oh yeah. This is before when we first got here, I came for a walk round. This is the just to make sure, this is the way I came in. There's some steps leading out up that way. I presume that'd have been like the tradesman's entrance. Well hey. No smoke, please. Um, don't know what that would have been that's bricked up. Oh, I think Lindsay's broke something. So, yeah. It is, that's, why, that's one reason. It, it looks, it's a very interesting place. That's one reason we thought we'd come here in the day. We might actually come back at night one day. Oh, definitely. Um, 
But like I say, this is obviously come through this archway into this room. Yeah, they were they weren't very really tall. No. Because if I turn you around, I know you don't want to look at my ugly mug guys, but if I turn you around, look, my head won't go through these doors. So yeah. Now this is a well this is another little room as well. Like I say, everything's blocked off so you can't actually get up anywhere. But it is an absolutely beautiful building. What we're going to do in a minute is we're going to get Lindsay to try and jump off this. Ooh. Just go for it like Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I don't know if chat's broke or nobody's talking. All that way. <laughs> yep, and then probably some. I don't know if that would have been like a fireplace, fireplace or a, where an oven went. Yeah, could have been. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks like some sort of chimney going up there. So I presume that would have been like where an oven or a fire was. If it was, there'll be some meals cooked in here. Not doing Sunday dinners anymore, though. No, lol. You don't want to see Lindsay do jukes of acid out of that window? I do. <laughs> so, yeah. Such a beautiful building. It's massive. It's difficult... For you guys to see, I mean, if I can try and get the actual size of it, you know, how high the walls go. I mean, you can see Lindsay there, and that's how high, just to get a bit of reference. So, yeah, good evening, everybody joining. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday afternoon. Good afternoon. It's not evening yet. Did I? Oh, man. And then there's this little bit here. This is where we were actually going to do Vortex. If we've got a little... Guys, I apologise. And I'll take you for a quick walk around the outside. Around the outside. What's that song? How's that go? So, yeah. It's a bit frosty look. But this is it from the outside. Not a very... Not a brilliant picture. Great, now David Bailey. And then I have a walk round here. Oh, it's such a beautiful place. We never even knew this existed. It running by accident, I found it on Tinty Web. There you go. That were it. That were the one. Yeah, I think we've got to get Lindsay jumping out of here. Like Daisy Duke. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. Oh. She's off look taking pictures. You want me to take it down and show you the front? Or do you want me to do that? We'll do that in a bit, eh? We'll get something to start. Oh, well, we've got something we've got. Lovely nailing. Very pixelated. Might not be now when we're now we're back in the Chris has said it's okay, my end. Just try refreshing, guys. It's this Henrik that's uh, having a problem. Do you want to hold that a minute while I get something? Henrik, just try refreshing, my lovely. And, um, yeah. What do you want to start with, Spirit Box? Oh, uh, we can start with Spirit Box. Picking up already a Mary Jane and Albert. Well, what we'll do, Karen, is because we've not let anybody know where we are, um, as such, with uh, Scotty and Chris. Deborah, soldier. Deborah, soldier. Soldier's relevant. Um, Deborah and soldier. Soul. Well, and soul. Um, so, what we'll do. Is it? Yep. So, what we'll do is I will message them ceiling. in a minute. Ceiling. Said so ceiling. Yeah. Is the ceiling missing? What happened to the ceiling? 
What year was the ceiling destroyed? Um, there's just developed. one gentleman developed, it's just said. Um, there's just one gentleman who's just come walking through just to have a look at this beautiful place. It um, is a public place, so there will be other people. It is public, so there will be other people probably coming in and out. Um, but yeah, so no, basically we're on a zone, Nanny Lynn. Um, but like I say, it's, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to message um, Scotty. Scotty and Chris and just let them know where we are so then they can look up some history and uh, if any names come up that are relevant, um, them guys can check it out for us. Uh, yeah, so after, afternoon, Cole. Afternoon, Kelly. Oh, yeah. I know. Okay, I'll refresh. It's still a very, very, it's still very pixelated. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. Like it might clear, um, hopefully, uh, as it as uh, we go on. Um, but I do apologise for that, Emric. I don't think we have much control over pixelated. So we've got the spirit box on. Afternoon, Rose. Janet. Hello, Joanne. If you're in. Hi, Mags. Hope you're all good. Right, do you want to hold it and put spirit box on? I'm going to walk through there or yeah. go back through there. Start in main bit. Welcome back, Scotty. Just let Scotty, and Chris, Scotty, Chris, Lindsay's going to message you now and let you know where we are. So if you want to find any history for this place, you are more than welcome in case any names come up. Um, that's my e sig. Sorry, guys, but you're facing a wall. Lindsay just chucked me e sig all over the floor. I didn't mean to, it's in front of the basket. I know, we, Cole, we, we, we said good, e good evening about. Um, good evening, mate. We said good evening about 12 times already. Ooh, that, must, that must have gone out that way. Oops. So, yeah. Good afternoon, Spirit. My name's John. That's Lindsay over there. Could you step forward and tell us your story? Tell us what, what this place used to be and what it used to be like. You tell me the name of the family that originally owned this castle, this hall. Do you know what century this hall was first built in? What part of the castle am I now studying? What would have this bit of the castle been here? Oh, that looks nice. You know, I bet this was amazing back in the day. Good evening, Two Dimension Paranormal Team. Good, uh, good afternoon, even. See, I'm doing it again. Would you like to step forward and... Uh, Communicate is Henry here. What was the name that Karen said? You've got four, you've got camera, so. I don't know, I can't oh, remember. Oh, look. Karen. Don't hold it a minute. Afternoon, Diana. Do you want to put what name you got again, Karen? Sorry, I didn't see it. Lindsay had phone. Sorry, my lovely. I'll try shouting out. Afternoon, Poway. Hi, Steve. Did you hear Karen? Um, did Karen, you? did you hear John? Can you repost them names that you said, my love? I do apologise, my memory is a sieve. I'd love to be able to get up onto that bit. 
Respect. That Let's bit, talk yeah. Calling out to the spirits of this old castle. Mary. I fee Mary. Mary Jane and Albert. Calling out to the spirits of this castle, could you step forward and communicate with us? Mary Jane here or Albert? <laughs> you swore again? I am swore! If you guys don't mind, if you, if uh, one of our moderators could share the link to YouTube <laughs> while we're uh, doing this live, I'd really appreciate that, my love. Is there any spirit here wanting to communicate? You come with respect. You come to find out your story. Find Mary out. Jane, are you here? Can you use this device? Can you find the words to communicate with us? I'm not actually going to get the other it one It is, out. Diana. It's an absolute beautiful castle. I'm going to try the other one. Oh, sorry, I'm going to What would name it family? Percy family. But I'm just going to have a look in a minute. It was the, the... Uh, Diana, I don't know if you was in at the beginning, but it was uh, part of the Percy family. And they go back all the way to William the Conqueror and through the War of the Roses and through to the English Revolution. Have we got on? Yeah, Ovilus is in front. Oh. Came out with Soul, remember? Soul. Oh, it did. In Soldier. Soldier and... I can't remember what else Karen, it is Mary Jane two different people or is it Mary Jane Steamy. and... Steamy. Steamy. Might be referring to your vape. Could be, could they be. They'll not know what it is, will they? No, they'll not know what vape is. I'm just going to have a look and see. Don't be frightened of any of the equipment that we're using. None of it's here to hurt you. Right, Henry, Percy and William. I see a figure in the doorway. Take some screenshots for us, Henry, if you do, Henry, if you do my love life. Calling out, 20 spirits that are here. Is Mary Jane here with us? Or Albert? Mary Jane, did you used to work in, Afternoon, in this kitchen? Yep, your family. I thought it were Diana. Diana. I thought they were related to. That's why I've just remembered. That's why I've just mentioned it. It's a beautiful castle. Can you tell us who owned this, this beautiful hall, this castle? Mayor, surname? Mayor. Is there anybody here with the surname of Mayor? Is that your surname, Mary, Mary Jane? Is there any soldiers nearby here? What happened here during the War of the Roses? Is this where the maid and the servant used to scully around? Tell us how many spirits are here with us. Thank you, Scotia. Thank you, my love life. Let's hold that a minute. I'm gonna put Ren for that and call. Oh, you're gonna where you're gonna put on that middle on one. That there, middle one. Yeah. 
there's any spirits here that want to communicate, could you step forward with us? Could you try and communicate through this radio? It'll take energy, but you can do it. Could you try and tell me your name? Or what centre that this castle was built? These devices that we're putting down will not hurt you. Afternoon, Diane. None of these devices will hurt you. You can use your energy to play with these items. The two balls will flash. Shall I move a bit closer so they can see? Yeah. Yeah, it's only in case they start flashing, um, nobody can see them. Could you go near that light and switch that light on for us? Sad about the war. It was Diana. It was very sad. Sorry, Patrice. What did that say? Gordon, I think. But it could have been... I don't know, it could have been a football match, it could have been goal or something like that, you know what I mean? Like goal, you know what I mean? Something like Afternoon, that, I mean. Kashi. I don't know, what do you guys hear anything? Um, Perithia. Perithia. Perithia, Paranormal Site Team Malaysia. Welcome, welcome, my lovely. Welcome to our ETA family. A happy birthday. Yeah, I think that was radio. <laughs> we'll go with radio on that. Albert's surname is Mayer or Mayer. Albert Mayer here. Do you have an Albert here? If we have, could you, could you please step forward? Hi, Maldo. We've got some devices on that stone over there that you can interact with. Could you light one of them up for us? You heard I'm coming. Who's coming? Who's coming to join us? Do you still work here? Do you still keep this castle clean? Could you show yourself by a light anomaly? Could you approach one of those devices? We will be able to see you in your light form. How many spirits are here with us? Could you say one of our names? My name's John. I'm Lindsay. Can you say one of our names or tell us your name? Do you want to try that app? What, the new one? The one, what we couldn't get working. The quantum box. Yeah, quantum box. Because that quantum box, it will up. take a couple of minutes. Let's see if I can get them interacting with these balls. Was there any children spirits here? Diana, did you hear 10? Is there any children spirits here that would like to come out and play? I mean, you know, harm or disrespect? We're just here to find the history of this castle and see if it's... if we can communicate with the spirits that have crossed over. Sensing six there, but not sure of any names. Thank you, Karen. These devices that are laid on that stone won't hurt you. All they'll do is they'll just light up some lights and, and flash. 
Could you try and interact with those toys for us? Dory's picking up on three children. Did the, th the three children that are around us, did you belong to the owners of the castle? If you was, could you light one of those lights up? Or were you part of the servants' quarter? Did you used to run around and play? If there's any spirit still here, still lingering around this beautiful castle. Or is sensing two girls and a boy. Do we have two girls and a little boy here with us? Got family coming in now, I think. Let's go, I'm just going to go closer to these devices. Ooh, I'm attached to you. <laughs> I'm not going to turn it on until oh. they've gone. No, we'll wait while uh, these have gone because there is some children coming in. So we'll just keep the bowls and uh, the REM pod out and uh, see if we can get them to light them up. Oh. Afternoon, Janet, my lovely. Afternoon, Linda. John will show you how these devices work. If John shows you how they work, can you copy him by using your energy? Yes, Mags, I'm well wrapped up today. That one's not working. Oh, it is. You can't actually see them flash, to be fair. Well, you can just see them flashing. You could go near to the blue lights. You could go near to the balls on the stone. They'll just flash. You know, around the kitchen, waiting for the bread or sweets. I'm waiting to see if uh, Levin comes out, because if Levin comes out, it's not come out yet, but... American. American. Writing. And writing. Hmm? And a surprise. Preacher. Preacher. Do we have a preacher here with us? Are you going to surprise us? There's a preacher here. Could you let us know by saying amen? Would they said that? Yeah, they would have said amen. Mm -hmm. They would have been Christian, wouldn't they? Keep sensing a tall man with a handlebar, moustache and dark hair. Does that describe the preacher? A tall man with a handlebar, moustache and dark hair. Children playing among people. They're hiding around dresses. Afternoon, Linda, my lovely lady. Oh, yeah. Can you use these devices to play? Actually, was just said about kids playing hide and seek around dresses. We've actually got some people in with the children, and their children are playing hide and seek. And you just picked up. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey May, hope you're well. Kelly, we are early in the day, and um, we decide it's too cold at night time um, to um, come out at the moment. So we thought we'd just do a daytime invest. Um, but Cloud and No has just come out of this device. Um, I don't know whether Cloud could be the vape, because every time I seem to vape, it come out with steamy earlier, and then Cloud. So um, whether it's picking up on the vape, because it's not something that they'd be used to seeing, or uh, anything else. But we are going to wait before we put a device on, because it's not a device really you'd put on while children are present. So... Uh, we're just going to wait two minutes while these lovely people pop off. Kelly thought it would make a nice change. I think it would. Afternoon, Kamal. Um, only 10.30 in New York City. Wow. I don't even know what time it is here. 
it's it's 3.33 here in the afternoon, Dore. So, uh, yeah. Have they gone? No. No? Just in the next room. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a nice... Nice one. If there's a preacher here with us, could you come up and interact with us We're using these devices on this stone? Can you just walk up to this one? All it'll do is just make that noise and light those lights up. It won't hurt you in any way. I know, Kelly, I thought we'd surprise everybody. <laughs> it's 9.30 a.m. for Diana. Wow. Right, so we are putting a device on. So again, please, guys, listen what you hear. Pop it in chat. We are waiting for a big stuff. Oh, I hope not, Dory. Calling out to the spirits of this castle. If there's anybody here. Do we have a Mary Jane? Is there a Mary Jane here with us? Can you interact with these devices? We know this castle's been around since the 11th century and a lot of work's been done on it over the years. Why did they build it through the brick? Why did they build it through the stone? Was it to hide the castle? Do we have a preacher that's here with us? Hello. Was you the preacher of this castle? He's suspicious. He's suspicious. He's freezing here in Newcastle. He's freezing here in uh, wherever we are. <laughs> York. Two hours north of New York City. I'd love to be in New York City on uh, New Year's Eve. Mary Jane and Albert still there with a young man called Sam. Mary Jane and Albert, is Sam your son? Or was his name Samuel? <laughs> Kelly's just heard scavenger. Afternoon, Laura. I wasn't naughty. There wasn't. I wasn't naughty, did that say? Or guilty? I thought it said naughty, but it could have said guilty. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a child saying I wasn't naughty. Right. To the little boy or little girl that's just communicated, we know you wasn't naughty, that you was just being children and playing. There is quite a few coming through, I know, Dory. I think Dory means um, New Year's Eve. In oh, New Year's Eve, yeah. I bet it is. I bet it's flooded. <laughs> Who's tired? <laughs> Are you tired from all the work? Persevere. Persevere. Did you have to persevere through your tiredness? Scavenger. That's okay, come on. Sam, was that you that said you're not naughty? Samuel, we've brought you some toys to play with. We've put them onto this stone in front of us. I presume that would have been a pillar that supported the floor above at one point. This crate. Could you tell us about okay. this castle? Could you tell us who owned this castle? <laughs> what was the family name? <laughs> The people that own this castle? Sure, that just <laughs> Could you tell us the family name? Before. Who's a scavenger? <laughs> In the house. <laughs> Did you used to live in this house? <laughs> Richard, are you connected to this house, to this castle? <laughs> Come 
Jamal, just speak in English. I know it might be difficult for you, darling, but if you can just speak in English for us in chat. The time before. Who was the first owners of this castle? Try and speak one at a time, please. Did you work here in this castle? Yeah. Mm -mm. Like it went as if it were uh, starting to say yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. What was your job in this in this castle? I think the child was misunderstood and got called a scavenger, maybe. Sam, was you called a scavenger? <laughs> Something this place. Did you used to calling to Sam. Did you used to come into this castle and try and like, sneak some food for your family? Karen. Like you Karen. Karen knows something. Did you say that Karen knows? Calling out to the little child. We've got you some toys. We'll give you permission to come and play with them. Did you used to play with other children here? <laughs> I can see, did it, sir? Can you see us? Can the spirits see us? Could you tell me what I sat on? Yeah, down there. Who used to live on the upper floor in this castle? Who's a thief? Samuel, was you classed as a thief? You're not in trouble now. We're not going to judge you, Sam. We can only see you when you decide to show yourselves to us, whether it's through a light anomaly, a dark shadow, a mist. Or just communicate with us. Do you see us as living people? Yeah. Here's Chris. Here's Chris. Is Chris here? He's here. He's awesome. Was you given food? Right. By the kitchen staff that lived here? He loved it. Dead. How many, how many spirits are here with us? Could you tell me how many spirits are here? Six, did that just say? Mm. No. I thought it said six, and Karen actually said six earlier. Uh, somebody else said six no. as well as Karen. If there's six spirits oh. here, do we have three children? Do we have two girls and a little boy? We thought that it, we thought it, John thought it said that Karen did uh, that Karen knows something and then said Chris yes. Do you have a message for anybody? We've got a lady in our in our chat who's watching, who is related to the family that built this castle, that lived in this castle. We've got one of your descendants. Do you have a message for her? For her? That sounded a bit posh. Okay. 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 
Is that you, Chris, that's Edward. saying there's a curse? Edward, are you here with us? Do you want to escape this castle? Bless Karen. Who's in charge here? I'd like to I'd like to speak to, to the person who's in charge. Who is the owner of this place? Graham, can you come and stand in that doorway? Can you stand in that doorway and show yourself? Kelly heard can't. I don't know whether that to a previous question because these are like 30 seconds, yeah, aren't turn they? It off. I'm going to try an EVP. I'm going to try and do an EVP then, guys, seeing as though uh, it's very quiet, and then we'll try and move into a different position because there's only a couple of rooms in this. Uh, Castle. So I don't want to keep him one spot. If there's any children with us? Could you play with those balls? <laughs> the little toys. Not even going to answer that. We call them John's flashy balls. Afternoon, Craig. Watching him pound like a ball. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, spirits. My name's John. I'm Lindsay. I mean, you know, harm or disrespect, we're just here to communicate with you and find proof of the afterlife. Could you step forward and tell us your name? How many children spirits are here with us? Who built this castle? What century was this castle built in? Was you a servant here? What was your job here? Did the owners treat you well? Stop it there. Afternoon, John. Hope you're well, my lovely. For your last night. Are we ready? We're ready. Good evening, spirits. My name's John. I'm Lindsay. I mean, you know, harm or disrespect, we're just here to Good communicate evening, with again. you and <laughs> find proof of the afterlife. Silly. Could you step forward and tell us your name? That voice has been picked up. In the background, there was some speaking outside there. How many children spirits are here with us? Who built this castle? What century this, was this castle built in? Hiya, Clara. Oh, you're all right, my lovely. Was you a servant here? What was your job here? Did the owners treat you well? Stop it there. Nope. Nothing on that one. You want to try another one? Yeah, do another one. Make some chicken. That's the one at 
questions. Who else my love to Got to go. Love is hungry. All oh, right, Diana, sure no worries, my lovely. Like it could have been. You could hear a bit of clicking noises, but it didn't sound like anything. Yeah. EVP session two in the castle. Could you come up to this device and tell us your name? What was it like to work here? How much was you paid? Which family owned this castle? Why was it built in the stone? In which century did this house fall into ruin? How many levels to this castle was there? That were a nice old back. Drop it there then. Yeah. And then we'll have a wander through to the other side if you want. Yep. See if we can get some flashing going on our balls. Are you ready, guys? EVP session two in the castle. Could you come up to this device and tell us your name? What was it like to work here? Do you know Nate, Rebecca? How much was you paid? Which family owned this castle? Why was it built in the stone? Which century did this house fall into ruin? How many levels to this castle was there? I think that were a bird then. Yeah, I agree. It is Tina. That were a nice little back. There you Stop go. it there then. Isn't that right? <sighs> Afternoon, Rob. So, no, nothing on the EVP so far. We will try and do another couple in a bit. Um, we are going to go into the next section of this castle. So when we're getting doorway, John will just spin you around and uh, give you one last look in this side. Um, I just can't imagine how magnificent it is. I mean, I love these markings on walls. Well, you look that one there, it's you've like got that planter over there. It's like it does. It's carved or it's it's, I don't know what they are. Could have been lights, I think. Yeah, could have been lights. Where they'd have candles burning or... Well, that type of thing could be one well. Yeah. Can you... No, you can't try and climb up to see if it's a hollow, can you really? I'm just going to turn camera so you don't see him fall. <laughs> Once he's up, I don't mind. I just don't want you to see him fall. Just be careful. No, it's flat. No, it's Could have been. No, no. One over there as well. Yeah. Possibly. 
is Dan. <laughs> oh, yes, Leslie, I know you're right, my lovely. Torches, possibly H, could have been torches. Um, back in 11th, 13th century, I would have thought more fire than torch. Yeah, they like, you can't really see them from here, guys. I don't know, can you? Like flat on top. I do have life insurance. I'm actually worth more dead than alive, which is quite scary. I think the is there. Do you think that was stairs? Oh no. That's got. Ooh, look at that. That could have been a fireplace. No, because it didn't go all the way up. Oh. I think that. I don't know. I don't know what that could have been. Strange. I'm going to have a look at these over here. And I'll just show them back into there in a minute. Don't know what this would have been in here. Put the light on so you can see. Not very much. I oh, know that's just a cut out. Yep. I am worth more. Do we try and put those flashy balls in there? Down there? I can do. Um, I'll show you back into this side. Or do we put them in the middle of the doorway? So that would have been the kitchen area and the cell. I think that's the cellar on the other side where all the barrels would have been kept. None left. Same here. You're worth more uh, not here, Rob. It is a sad state of affairs, isn't it, mate? That's where I do all cooking in house. <laughs> Oh, I'll put a REM pod there. Well, do you put it further into the middle? That's John messing with the REM pod. What's this place called? We'll uh, say afterwards, H. Well, no, no. Or we might not. <laughs> we are going to come back and do a nighttime investigation. Afternoon, after Sarah. Uh, no, we're just at a castle, my love. Like we've um, had a couple of things come through Spirit Box, uh, through Quantum, is it Quantum Box? Yeah, Quantum from, Box. Through Quantum Box. Um, and we've just come from one part of the castle to the like middle section I that's don't know left. What this bit would have been. Um, no. So uh, I know you won't tell the location at the moment, but what castle. it's a uh, castle, Christiana. Um, yeah. It's uh, old derelict castle. <laughs> Calling out to any spirits that are still here in this castle that we communicate. Could you step forward and tell us your name? Afternoon, Selena, my lovely. Can you tell me how many spirits are here with us? Could you affect those devices for us that are down on the floor? What year was this castle built? Could you try and communicate with us through this device? Yeah, I've just been thinking of something as well. Yeah. Maybe these doors aren't low, maybe the floor's higher now than what it would have been. Hmm, possibly. You know? Could have been filled in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Because obviously this wouldn't have been the floor. No, mud wouldn't have been the floor, no, sure, no. like so, being wood. Well, wood or it could have been tiled or anything. The stone plinth John climbed up to could have been for larger than roof or ceiling joints. Yeah. Ah, have. could have, Chris, yeah. I feel a guardsman is why I ask. No worries, my lovely. Guardsman, would that relate? I presume it's a castle. 
which it is, yeah. and you have to do it, so you would have some God, type of God, God or, yeah. not an army, but, but you know. Is you a guardsman at this castle? What war was fought when you were here? Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us the name of the war that was fought here? There's three. There's a revolutionary uprising against some of the force. There's a war of the Rangers. And the English Civil War. Can you save one of those if you were here at that time and they happened? Sam and Annie are children, Sentin Albert is a German soldier. Do we have a Sam or a Annie oh, here? Do we have Sam or Annie here with us? Albert, was you a German soldier? And if so, what was your connection here? I'm at 1600, but this place in the English Civil War, then this place 1642, 1646, then that time this place found to women. The yeah, Anakin see people cooking. Yeah, I think this would have been like a pot or a kitchen or... I think that might be kitchen, this might be a storeroom and that, that might be cellar. That might be cellar, yeah. Mary Jane, are you still here with us? If you are... Could you please go and light one of those devices up down there on the floor? I promise you it won't hurt you, it just uses a little bit of your energy. Okay. Can you see the big cooking pot in the entranceway over there, Diana? Or do you think it's just the cooking pot in this area? Was you a chef here? Did you used to cook in this kitchen? Can you tell me how many servants are here? John's going to fight thermal. It's not minus yet, so it might work. It's going to work for minus temperatures. What was your job here? Do you want to put that in front of the camera so they can see? Can you go and stand in that hole, in that archway there for us, so we could see ya? REM pod's down there in the middle of the floor. Could you walk over to those devices so we can see ya? Don't mean any harm or disrespect. Could just be eat front brick that though, couldn't it? That's yeah. showing up. Can you walk past my camera? Afternoon, and Amanda. Big table, many running around. Yeah, that got picked up earlier on that there were a lot of um, people hustling and bustling around here. Please spirits, could you just try and interact with those devices on the floor? It just gives us validation that you're still here with us. 
and that we can still interact with you. Did there used to be a big cooking pot there? Who's in charge of the staff here? How many servants were there working in this kitchen area? Or this area? As it was. Please go to the blue light. And there's some lights that will light up on that device. Can you light them up please? We know you've got the energy to do so. Anybody from the Percy family still here? Henry Percy? Henry the Fourth. Henry the Fourth, do you still have connections to this castle? Like William Percy. Mm -hmm. no. William Percy. William Percy was the original one that got the land given to him by William the Conqueror. Right. I don't know if trap broke. I just got what Diana's put last. Oh no, and they like you. So let's try a different... What I was going to do now, just turn that off. I would put one at half one. Necrophonic, maybe. If the spirits like us, can you show us how? Can you show us that you do like us? Could you throw a stone at us? Could you make a big loud bang? Could you throw a stone at Lindsay? Could you move one of those balls off the floor? Could you just roll it? I'm quite all right, I don't want stones thrown at me. Could you walk up to that blue light for us, please? If you're still working in this kitchen or in this castle, could you just spare a moment for us just to go and light one of those devices up so we know that you're with us? Karen's feeling a man called Chris and is very cold, like hypothermia. If I bought this house, would you work for me? It's my vape you're going to see in a minute, guys. Can you step forward and show yourselves to us? You can do that by creating a light anomaly. You could do that by a dark shadow walking past. Ask who was king. Yeah. Just get necrophonic set up, guys. Remember, pop what you hear in chat. What, what, was, the, what was the king's name at the time you lived here? William. Hey. Hey. William. I heard William. Lots of re residual hey. energy here. Was William the king? Hey. Was he the king? No idea. Oh. I don't know. Kings and queens. Who was the king in charge of our country? Oh. But it weren't it? Was split off, weren't it? <laughs> No, not that. No, I'm going back before, aren't I? When it was Mercia and all of this. Who was the king? Ezra. Ezra. Who's Ezra? 
You can use this device to manipulate the sounds into words so we can hear you. You can have a voice back, you can talk to us. <laughs> Deanna heard <Ed>, William. <laughs> William? <laughs> Let's say, yeah. <laughs> William, could you go and light one of those devices up for us so I know that I'm talking to you? Is it just me or the picture turned pink? I think pictures turn oh, them in pink. I don't know why. I think, it, I think it's, it's the light. light. I, I think, think it's, cause light. it's going darker now. Because um, if I turn like that way. Said, was he? Picking up Alexandra. Not sure if it's a first or second <laughs> name. Is there anybody with the name of Alexandra here, please? Can I see if I blow some? We can't do the um, can't vortex. Can't do vortex because but... mirror's broken off it. So um, John's just going to... I'd stand a bit further over. Can you show yourself in this bit? In this bit? Could you tell us your name? Could you tell us? Was he a conqueror? Who was William? Don't forget to screenshot for us, guys. William, what was your title? Was you a conqueror? How many guards are here to protect this castle? Try and do it a bit further. Oh. I said to what Dan. We're listening to your spirits. Afternoon, Yvonne. Please step forward. Close, but not William the Conqueror. William Percy, it was a fave of his. William Percy, are you here? Thank you for communicating with us. We come with the utmost respect, picking up 1783 in connection with William. How old were you, Sam, if you're still here? How old were you? Right, weird, because that smoke is still lingering. You can see it on the screen, still lingering. Okay. Heard Beth. Leona, hello, can you turn up the volume? I don't, I think volume's up full, my lovely. We can bring the speaker close to the camera for you. Please, I'm calling out to the spirits that are here. Could you just interact with one of those devices for us, just to give us confirmation that when we do cross over, that our spirits do, our energy does live on. Some people will call you spirits, some people will call you ghosts, some people will call you energy. Can you show that energy still lives on after we cross over by interacting with one of those devices? We mean no harm or disrespect. You like that we come here? You like that we come here to communicate with you? Heard Bowden or Bowman? We'll check them names, my friends, if we can find any connection. 
Can we communicate with the king? I'm going to try that next room because it's getting a bit darker now. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to attempt to take you round on scooter, my lovelies. It's all right if I go slow. I know I'm watching. Is that, oh no, it's grass that threw that bit, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Try and put devices in the doorway, see if we can get anybody to walk through. Hold on, I'm gonna put this on. We could actually put them a little bit way through because then it's a bit darker through there. We're going to put some devices down in this doorway. We would like you to walk through and interact with us. Who was the master? Who was the master of this house? Can you tell me what the master's name was? Say, I, I seek an audience with the king. Could somebody go and find me the king? I, I request to seek an audience with him. What was the name of the king's wife? This was an entrance way into the castle. John's putting some devices down on the floor. If you could go and communicate with us and just light these devices up, we would really, really appreciate it. We mean you no know, harm or disrespect. Quite a few names are coming out. Do we have... Oh, sorry. Can you affect any of the devices on the floor? Any objects? Just try and touch them, move them. I'm just trying to communicate with us through this device that Lindsay's got. One making the sound. Try and talk to us. What was a sin? Can you walk towards us, please? <laughs> Afternoon, Leone. <laughs> Spirits, could you please walk towards us? And trigger those devices off on the floor. Just use your energy. Put all your energies together. If there's any children here, you're allowed to go and play with them toys. We'll give you permission. All they are is just devices sure that we use. They are toys to be played with. They will not hurt you. But the year now is 2019 and a lot of new technologies come out well How many people are still working in this castle? 
Do you come back and visit this castle? Is it a place that you loved being here? Can you come and walk towards us, please? We mean you no know, harm or disrespect. How many wars? How many wars were connected to this castle? Can you tell me how many wars and what one of the name of the wars was? Yeah. 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 Broke. No, it's all right. Could you please go near that blue light? No, it's not. You've <laughs> yeah. One friend lost some bait suit, though. Oh. Thanks, Scott, eh? I'll try and blow some Endless. Bait through the door. You want to ask the spirit if he can walk through the door? Yeah. Yes. Can you show yourself through this smoke? Um. If you walk towards us, we'll be able to see you. You'll be able to show yourself in this smoke. Yes. I heard endless. <laughs> well, yeah, you can see smoke better in light. <laughs> What's endless? Yeah, Michael, we don't put name on while we're doing a live investigation, my lovely. So I'm saying he wasn't naughty, he just saw the men chatting and they shouted at him to go away and one man was Albert. Uh, Kimo, Albert you know no. what to do anyway, so uh, leave it in your hands, my lovely. Is Albert still here? Albert, why did you shout? Why did you shout at the little boy? <laughs> at the little boy, Albert. Please, could you just go light one of those devices that we are about to leave soon? Welcome. Could you please look, use all your spirit energies and combine them to trigger one of those light objects off, please? If you need any more Sweet. energy, you can use a little bit of mine. I'll allow you to use some of my energy. Shout at you, he said. Are you happy for us to come back? and speak to you again. Brian, can you message me afterwards, my lovely, uh, on ETA one, so I can chat to you a bit more? Thanks, Brian. If we come back another time, Spirits, will you communicate with us again? Gemma. Yeah, thank you. Could you say goodbye to us? Could you say a clear goodbye? Do you want us to leave? 
Do you want us to go? Is it time for us to leave? Try Paratech, guys. Claire Bear will be upset, Claire Bear will be upset if we don't use a Paratech for her. Paratech started scanning. No, you don't need that on the way. No. Law. I'm calling out to the spirits. Could you tell us the name of the king? Who's in charge of this country? At the time that you lived here? Fiddle. 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 Could you Red. tell us could you tell us your name? Red. As in or Reed. Reed, Red. Where it said red, didn't it? Yeah. Could you use could you use this device to co communicate with us and tell us your name? You're going to show yourself down there. You come out of that doorway at the bottom. Could you walk towards us so we could hear your X. footsteps? X. I'll look at the number at the left or right. No, it is letter X. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, they said number rather than letter. Could you show yourself to us? You walk past that doorway or that window. Could you come down those stairs? You make a sound so we can hear you. Machine. machine. Do you think those devices on the floor are a machine? They're not machines and they won't Periodical. hurt you. Periodical. Could you, have you got the energy to light those lights up on the floor for us? Rapture. Rapture. We are going to be leaving soon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The smoke won't hurt you. Was there a fire here? Was there a fire here and it died? Afternoon, Chrissy. Anybody die in that fire? Could you, here? could you show yourself by a light anomaly? Can you walk towards us? Just make sure you don't see any bugs. Can you hear us to communicate with us? What did you hear? Please, could you interact with any of the objects on the floor? Yeah. Would you like John to interact with them first to show you how they work? They won't hurt you. Sacrifice and find you. Did you use did, We're not sacrificing. None of the devices would hurt you. Could you do that again for us? Mother? Is the mother here? No. Could you light that device up for us, please? You've just seen John show you how it works. You do it now. You try and move it. It won't hurt you. It didn't hurt me. Wouldn't ask you to do this if we thought it would hurt you. It just needs energy. Use some of my energy if you need it. Oh, bless Chrissy. I hope you're all right, my lovely. Instead. Quiet. I've been watching. Thank you ever so much for keeping me entertained this afternoon while I've been bed bound. Bless you. Oh, I hope you feel better soon to everybody that's feeling poorly. We are going to leave this Afternoon, place Afternoon, Maldo. Soon. Good. <laughs> Thank you. You don't like us being here? If you can say goodbye for us, or leave, or get out, or... Go. Au revoir. We will leave. Find her. Find who? We're good, thanks, Chrissy, my lovely lady. Who do you want us to find? Is this Mary Jane? He wants us to find Mary Jane. Love. Hmm. <laughs> you pull it in? Yeah. Right, guys, I ain't gone a minute. Let's turn the lights round. I'm just going to get it blinded. Be that much. It shouldn't blind you that much, that one. It is. Edward. Edward. Oh, now it starts with names. Yeah. Edward, are you here with us? Do we have a Edward with us? What's your surname, Edward? We're communicating it with Edward. Could you go to one of those devices and light them up for us, please? Afternoon, Michelle. Oh. 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 As in, O-H-O. -O. We are going to be leaving now. Thank you for communicating with us. Scanning stopped. You do it. Right, guys. So, thank you so, so much for joining, joining us, us today. Evening. Well, afternoon. today, this afternoon. It's getting towards um, evening now. I've right enjoyed it today. It's a lot warmer than what it is at night time. Um, okay, we've not had much interaction on the uh, devices on the floor. We've had a lot, quite a lot come through names yeah. and through the apps. And um, Karen did pick up on two names. I'm not sure whether Scotty um, or Chris could uh, find whether the names were relevant for us. Um, but yeah, I'm I've right enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed this afternoon coming out. Hi, Jeanette. Hope you're okay, my lovely lady. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, art this afternoon. It makes a difference coming out in daytime. Um, I do believe that you don't have to come out at night time. The spirits around us all day and night. It's just that in the daytime, obviously you get a lot more contamination from either passing traffic, daytime noises, people coming in and out. Um, but yeah, but from that, it's no different to a nighttime investigation. But we will say goodbye for now. If you would like us to later on, uh, maybe go into the shed, the parrot, no, parashack, into the parashack um, and do some more experiments and try uh, the, get the vortex fixed and uh, use the vortex, please just drop some hearts in the comments just so I know that that's a yes or some thumbs up or hearts on the doodah going up. Um, oh, thank you so much, Sissé. Um, I've been to Sweden. I were only about 11, though, when I went, but Sweden was a beautiful country. It still is. Um, we ended up staying in some, uh, like, log cabins. And, uh, yeah, it were apps I absolutely loved it. Hi, Sean. Hope you're right. Um, we are just finishing, guys, to those coming in. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we will be going live later on from the Paris Shack. Uh, and we will try and do some communication. As we've said before, the dolls that we have, and the, um, they are two dolls, they are not haunted dolls, they are not, um, no spirit attached to them. We are looking to get some items, we not are, particularly not, dolls, not, items yeah. with history attached to them. Exactly. I'm not saying they're going to be any spirits attached no. to them, but there'll be history attached but to them. But the doll is actually from the 1960s. 1960s, so there will be a lot of history connected to her. So we might um, try and do something with her Not necessarily haunted <laughs> or uh, anything attached, but that she has got history to her because she's been around for a long time. Um, so we will Longer be than shared. Me. Yeah, <laughs> we will go in the, sh in, in the Paris shack uh, later on tonight, probably around about 8 o'clockish. I would have thought. Eight, uh, about well, we've got to get home. To get home. It's about an hour and a half from here to our home and then it is. So um, uh, have some tea. we will be there on the live this evening. Oh, bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, so, everybody, for joining us. Everybody, good to time. everybody. It's Sunday afternoon, but it's a bit of a change. Yeah, it does. I've enjoyed it. And uh, we shall catch you guys later on tonight. So yep. take, care, take care, enjoy the nice afternoon that's left, and wrap up warm. Afternoon, Trish. We're just leaving, my lovely lady. We're just going. But thank you for popping in. <laughs> we are on later, Trish, so uh, if you want to pop back then. Um, but yeah, but thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you soon. Take All right, care, my guys. lovelies. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, I have to press yeah. finish. <laughs> really?